Okay, guys, it's been a bit. It's been a real bit. I've been doing stuff. I've been doing what the title of this video says. I've been learning how to make video games. I made a video game. I didn't know how to make video games 30 days ago. You'll see the gameplay in this video. It's a very cool video game. Game's not finished by any means. It's gonna take probably another six months. But we're gonna be selling it on Steam, and if you look at the gameplay at the end, I frankly think it's pure out dandy. And what I wanna talk about in this video is how I accomplished this, not so much to toot my horn, but there will be some, some horn tooting, okay? I will take the opportunity. I'm pretty proud of what we have so far. But more importantly, kind of show you guys the application of uh, Nightmare Mode. And if you don't know what that is, check out the videos on this channel. It's basically a way you can live your life, a way you can structure how you operate to get a massive amount of stuff done in a very short amount of time. And overall, be good. Or going out and achieving that thing you want to do. Starting a business, whatnot. And so what I want to do in this video is kind of break down the last 23, 25 days. We're not even 30 days in and talk about what I did to do this because 25 days ago, I didn't know code at all. I was literally writing this little thing right here. I was actually taking a Code Academy course. And now I have this. I've engaged. And the reason why I just want to make this video is one, give you guys kind of an update on what I'm doing, but two, just show you if there's that project, if there's that business, if there's that thing you've been thinking about for a long time, and you think there's some big hurdle or you just, you just can't work up the guts to get on it, you should just do it. Because for the longest time, I've been thinking about making video games. I've had this game for a first person shooter in my head for a long time, as well as other games that I've wanted to make. And I always thought, oh, I don't know code. And I don't have this thing and I don't have this thing. And on the channel, you guys see me constantly talking about my business and it's, it does well. I'll just leave it at that. I don't, not my video game business, that is very unwell, but my business, Hyros, it does well. And I feel that's almost a bad example because I'm a decade into that process. And so it's kind of hard to relate to. So I kind of wanted to show you guys me starting something from complete scratch and going absolute nightmare mode on it and what the process looked like. So let's just break it down. About 25 days ago, I just said, you know what? December, November-ish is a very slow time uh, for my businesses. So I'm just going to make a video game. I've been wanting to do this for forever. I'm just going to learn C Sharp. I'm going to master Unity. And I'm just gonna get into it. And now, wait me back up real quick. I don't think I've mastered C Sharp. I don't think I've mastered Unity. And frankly, if you look at my code, it's not optimal. It's not optimal. But there's very few things when it comes to designing a video game that I can't do. Uh, d designing AI, making the levels, as long as it doesn't come down to drawing and animation, I can do it. Which I find is very cool because about 25 days ago, I went back kind of into straight nightmare mode. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a made up term I made on this channel uh, and then it ended up sticking. But it means not mounting the mana core, which means don't do that thing. You see all the people on YouTube talking about how they, they don't fap, that's, that's the thing which can be extremely useful when you're trying to go through periods of extreme focus, but it means cutting out everything. TV, video games, bad food, alcohol, talking to people. I haven't done that in a while. I actually went like three weeks without seeing somebody in person. It was weird. And all the other details that come with that and how to do this, it's in the video that I'll link to at the end of this video. I'm not gonna talk about it all right here. And of course, doing this kind of form of dopamine detox, which basically means cutting out all the things that give your brain dopamine so you get hooked on the thing in front of you. That helped a lot, but the one thing I wanted to stress that also helped a lot, if you're struggling to do the stuff that I talk about on this channel, it's one, you shouldn't do it all the time. You should do it in spurts like I'm talking about right now. But more importantly, it has to be something that you actually enjoy doing and you're capable of getting addicted or obsessed with. So for example, if this was me trying to learn how to do accounting, if this was me learning how to coach football, if this was me trying to learn how to become a world-class chef, it wouldn't work, okay? I thoroughly enjoy the process of making games. I find it extremely addicting and it's a lot of fun. And so if the goal or what you're pursuing 
isn't something that you were just absolutely in love with, it's probably not going to work out. But if it is, this is how you absolutely crush it. Because about 25 days ago, I was taking a, and I'll get into actually how I, I did these things, if you're actually interested in the code learning part of it. But about 25 days ago, I started a Code Academy class, just started screwing around with that, and then jumped straight into a Udemy C Sharp Unity course and started working on my first game, which was actually this little console thing. I was pretty actually, I was actually pretty proud of this. Uh, and you can see me posting that on my Facebook about a month ago. And then I made this little rocket game, which was terrible. Just, just horrid. But uh, it, it, you can see the little rocket flying around right here. And then I made this little zombie first person shooter game, which was also terrible. Everything, everything up until probably about two weeks ago was terrible. And basically my schedule this entire time was I'd wake up in the morning, I'd work on my business for a few hours, then I'd start coding, start learning and doing all these things. Again, while fasting, keeping the diet super clean, doing like a few detoxes, but that's not important. And then I'd work on my business, do some other business stuff, like for one to two hours in the middle of the day. And then I would just basically code till about 10 o'clock at night. So all in all, like work-wise every single day, it was about 12 to 15 to 16 hour days every single day. Again, that's possible to do if you enjoy what you're doing and you, you cut everything else out of your life. There's nothing really for me to do. If I'm awake, this is just what I'm doing. And then after I complete that C-sharp masterclass, uh, I basically got started on another FPS class. And then, and then so what I did is I kind of took the base code of that FPS from that course and I started with this. This is where we were at about two week-ish ago. And again, you can see me just updating this and getting excited on Facebook about this. And then over the two weeks, I basically looked at every single thing I wanted to add into this game, the characters, the AI, the movement, the controls, everything, and just started <clears throat> and just started Googling how I can code this thing. For example, there's a grapple hook in the game and I watched a video on how to code a grapple hook and then coded a grapple hook. And that's basically been the process for everything. I think of what I want in the game, how I want the feel, then I Google and look for code and scripts of people that have coded something similar. I learn how they coded it, and then I code it myself and put it into the game. About, I would say a couple days after completing that FPS course, I still needed to do this. I'm at the point right now, about 25 days in, where I really don't need to go and start looking. Basically, I can just look at the code I've written and then use that to make new code. I don't have to go and look stuff up as much as I used to. But I'm at the point where I can just code freely. and. That is really cool because that is my objective that I set for myself about 30-ish days ago. I said, I want to know C Sharp. I want to be able to make a video game. I know C Sharp now and I can make a video game. It's a damn good video game. <clears throat> and frankly, I think the video game is a lot of fun to play right now. We're not even, we're not even there yet. We just, have the base, we just have the base mechanics. If you look at the game here in a second, we don't even have the full enemy models. These are just all prefab assets. The animations aren't done. And overall, it's, it's pretty rough, but the core components of the game are there. Everything that comes in code-wise, how the game plays, it's there. It's just about cleaning it up and then well, making the menu systems. I don't like making menu systems. But the main point is this is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. There's always been a reason why I didn't do it. I'm working on this business, or I don't have the time, or the code is hard, and I'm not an engineer-type-minded person. I'm too young, I, have to, I, I can do this later in life. I'm too old, I can't do this now, I'm 32. So you can't learn code at 32. And I just wanted to make this video not to say, look how cool I am and how fast I can learn something or that look at what I'm doing. I wanted to make this video because I know so many people, you probably feel that way about something in your life. There's something you really wanna do and you're just putting off and putting off and putting off doing it because you think there's something in your way to let you know that if you actually want to do something and you care enough about it, if you go lock yourself in a room and properly regulate yourself using, I, I don't know, the nightmare mode like tactics and dopamine detoxes, you can get that thing done in a very quick amount of time. You can become pretty decent at anything if you just sit down and do it and you get rid of everything else in your life and you just go in silence and work on what you're doing. Get off social media, stop checking your phone, stop talking to people and just fucking do it. And if I at 32 years old can pick up code and learn how to do it and start building a video game and start working on something I find super fascinating, so can you, whatever it is. Maybe it's basket weaving, maybe it's playing guitar, maybe it's covering your body in tattoos, I don't know. 
But what I'm trying to say to you right now is if you understand how to control yourself and optimize yourself and eliminate distractions from your life, there's nothing you can't do. And frankly, the time it takes to achieve the things you want or at least make enough progress to where you feel like, hey, I got this, this is good. It can be very short, it can be less than a month. Whatever it is, you can do it and you can do it quickly if you just stop being a pussy. Overdrive engaged. Getting triggered. Engaged. 